Hey everybody, I'm Aaron Norris. It's Friday, August 30th, and this is the Norris Group's Real Estate Headline Roundup in two. So prices increased by 12.1% in 20 of the largest cities in the nation, according to the S&P Case-Shiller Index in June. The National Association of Realtors says pending home sales are down 1.3 month over month for the month of July. The Labor Department reported unemployment claims decreased by 6,000 from last week and are now at 331,000. And mortgage rates decreased slightly last week, with 30-year rates now at 4.51% and 15-year rates at 3.54%. Zillow reported in their recent negative equity report that over 12 million homeowners are underwater, and this is down from 13 million in the first quarter and 15.3 million last year. Zillow predicted that negative equity rate will continue to decline to 20.9%, resulting in 1.9 million homeowners being lifted into positive equity category. Now if we could just sign more inventory for them to move on to. So it looks like regulators are backing off originally written guidelines called risk retention rules for qualified residential mortgages. Uh, this would have required banks to keep a stake in loans that have less than 20% 20, 20 down payment by borrowers. The proposed new regulations are now more in line with qualified mortgages developed by the uh, CFPB to protect borrowers. The stipulation is now that low to no down loans can't be abusive. The guidelines are now up and uh, they are actually seeking open public comment. So read the article and go make some comments. Banks reported they earned a record $42.2 billion in profits in the second quarter, up 22.6 compared to the same period last year, and due mostly because banks are putting aside less money for mortgage losses. This marks the 16th quarter in a row for federally insured banks to show year-over-year -year gains, and that's a good thing. That's it for the headlines, but there are many more on our website at thenorrisgroup.com slash blog. Up on the radio show, we're actually launching I Survive Real Estate this weekend with a, a radio interview with Sean O'Toole, who is, of course, back on panel at I Survive Real Estate coming up October 18th at the Nixon Library in Yorba Linda, California. We are actually sold out of sponsorships, and we are running out of seats. If you are interested in going, please visit isurvivedrealestate.com. We have a fantastic lineup of panels, including Deborah Still. She's a current more Mortgage Bankers Association president this year, Christopher Thornburg, an audience favorite, Sean O'Toole from Property Radar, Leslie Appleton Young from the California Association of Realtors, and John Burns with John Burns Real Estate Consulting, best known for consulting builders and hedge funds when it uh, comes to real estate and building. We are going to be in San Jose next week uh, at the San Jose Real Estate Investment Club doing Poise to Pop on the 5th, and then on the 7th, uh, next Saturday, we're doing How to Make a Million Dollars Maximizing the Next 24 Months, and this is the last time we plan on doing this, so you won't want to miss that. So September 17th, we're going to be at the Investment uh, Invest Club for Women in LA, and the 18th, same club, but in Orange County, doing Poise to Pop. The 19th, we're working with Robert Hall and Associates doing Poise to Pop in Pasadena. And October 18th, I Survive Real Estate. For more information on all five of our hard money loans, uh, look for some changes coming up in September. You can find out more on that at thenorrisgroup.com slash hard money. Or if you're looking for passive investments, earning 9, 11, and 12%, check out tngtrustdeeds.com. Have a fantastic Friday, and we'll see you next week.